Well, COIN 6 is getting answers after Portland Public Schools gave out conflicting information this morning on whether there would be school. The glitch, as the district calls it, caused a lot of confusion for parents. Brent Weisberg talked with district leaders and find, found out what happened. Brent? Jenny, good afternoon to you. The district says this was not widespread and only affected a handful of people, but still, we pressed them and we found out already this afternoon they are making changes. She called and said the school closed, but I told them no, they have to come to school. Fassi Kalamaphone was one of the very few parents who got conflicting messages today from Portland Public Schools about whether or not school would open. It's bad for me because, you know, I have to drop them and rush to work. Well, you can see it's just before 7 o'clock. It's 6.58 right now, and we've been getting reports from many of our viewers saying that the Portland Public School System's phone message is giving out the wrong information, so we decided to check for ourselves. Due to inclement weather, all PPS schools and offices are closed and all activities are canceled. You guys are calling it a glitch, but was it an error? No, it was just a glitch in our system. We have one phone system here at the central office. So if anybody called the central office, they got an old message. The district sent Coin6 News this email alert. Take a closer look. It was sent to us at 531, and within seconds, we told our viewers about it. Remember, it's a very wet commute, so you still need to take it easy out there and reduce your speed. And Carly, while you were talking, we just learned Portland Public Schools opening on time today, though buses are on snow routes. Look even closer at the alert we got from the district, and you can see that it shows all schools are opening at regular times. Severe weather really uh, plays a big role in everything, and it tests our systems. Even the district's website shows schools were open. Most parents Coin6 News talked with today said they weren't impacted by the phone message simply because they got their school updates from the news and they figured the weather wasn't bad enough to warrant a closure. We just assumed they were going to be. The district told me in order for someone to have gotten the outdated message, they likely didn't have a phone with text messaging capabilities or voicemail set up. The person would have then had to call the district headquarters directly where the outdated message played because of an IT problem which wouldn't allow the district to update the message remotely. How do you guys go about correcting this problem to make sure that there isn't any confusion down the road? Yeah, you know, we have great IT people, so once they find out about it, they fix it and we move on. Again, the district tells me that this glitch is now fixed, and again, they maintain that this only affected a handful of people. Reporting live, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News. All right, thank you, Brent. As the cleanup